Another uh, potential configuration for an ADC is that of a successive approximation or SA ADC. It's a, it's a very popular configuration for general purpose ADCs. Slightly more complex uh, in terms of the logic than the ramp ADC, uh, but also faster as we shall see. Uh, it also comprises a comparator and there is an analog sample applied to that uh, to the input of that comparator, perhaps from a sample and hold circuit. And then uh, via some control logic, we're going to search for uh, the digital output value that corresponds to that um, analog sample equivalent. Uh, but instead of doing it as in the case of the RAM by counting uh, from zero all the way to, um, to the maximum number when all the bits are set to one, we're going to do it more as a binary search. And so basically I'm going to start at the point where my uh, most significant bit is equal to one and all the other bits are set to zero, so it's the midpoint between zero and the full scale range, and I'm going to compare that to my analog sample. If that quantity uh, is smaller than my analog sample as determined by the comparator, uh, then I know that I need to keep increasing the value, and so I will move up that route. I know that my most significant bit is meant to be equal to one, and I'm just going to try all the other bits to see if they also need to be ones or zeros. Um, if that quantity is uh, larger than the analog sample, then I know that the opposite case is true. I need to uh, go searching um, for quantities where my most significant bit is set to zero. So then I move on. Let's imagine that I had determined um, my output at that point was smaller than my analog sample. So I know I, I need to keep increasing it. So I test for my next uh, most significant bit, which will be the second bit in this uh, three bit example. And I set that to one. And I determine again, is that quantity greater than my analog sample or smaller than my analog sample? If it's smaller than my analog sample, then I know that that bit needs to be set to one. If it is greater than my analog sample, let's imagine that's the case, then I need that I need to set the second, I know that I need to set uh, the second most significant bit to zero and then test for the last bit. And again, the same process, is that greater than or smaller than the analog sample? Uh, let's imagine that um, that is smaller than the analog sample. And therefore I know that my analog sample value is 101 in this particular example. Notice that um, the control logic uh, circuitry is going to be more complex than the um, than the ramp ADC. So you know main limitation will be a higher complexity. than the ramp ADC. Uh, but the advantage over the ramp ADC is going to be uh, the faster speed. And the reason for that is that instead of needing two to the n cycles uh, to move the counter from zero all the way to the full scale, uh, in this case, I only need n cycles to determine uh, my, my output value, my digital output. So uh, n clock cycles as opposed to 2 to the n clock cycles as in the previous case.